Mississippi State football opens up SEC play this weekend at home against LSU. And almost one year ago to the day, the Mike Leach era at Mississippi State started off with a bang. One bigger than most could have imagined. That's when the Bulldogs knocked off the defending champion LSU Tigers in Baton Rouge. Now, in case you forgot, KJ Costello threw for 623 yards and five touchdowns in the game. That set a single game passing record for the school and the SEC. Now, here's what Mike Leach remembers from it. It was a good game. It was just such a swirl of, well, you know, what was happening all over the place. You know, I mean, there's a point to where I can't remember how close to, but didn't know if we were going to play or not. You know, everybody's messing with this COVID stuff and COVID this, COVID, COVID, COVID. I mean, and that was back, you know, keep in mind, everybody loves seeing COVID. I mean, that was, you know, the newness hadn't worn off. People would say COVID five times just to get a, a good taste in their mouth. And it was a very explosive game on both sides, you know, big chunks of yards and things. And well, anyways, we won. And so it was a, it was a good and exciting game. Kickoff for this year's battle between State and LSU Saturday at 11 a.m. You can watch it on ESPN. Number 13 Ole Miss is currently on its bye week. Lane Kiffin wishes his team wasn't because of how well they've played, which, I mean, that is a valid point. The Rebels are 3-0, and they've beaten each opponent this season by at least 19 points while averaging almost 53 per contest. On the other end, though, one could argue it came at the perfect time because it gives them extra time to prepare for their next opponent, number one Alabama in Tuscaloosa. Here's running back Jerry on Ely on how the team is approaching the bye week and where his crew stands. I don't believe there's anybody that can beat us but ourselves. So if we go out there and don't beat ourselves, then we're in good shape. Everybody practiced like we were playing Bama Saturday. So that's how we got to practice. Even though we have a bye, I still think we should practice like we're going to go out and play. Why not get ready now so you won't have to get ready later? Not a bad strategy there when you're going up against the number one team in the country. That's it for sports. We'll be right back.